14 reported cases of theft in that area. New developments tonight in the cockpit rant making headlines around the globe. Local 2 Investigates was the first to bring you the pilot's tirade that went out on a vital air traffic frequency. And we're also the first to reveal who that pilot is. Local 2 Investigator Stephen Dean now reports tonight on what he's learned about the man. We trace the pilot to his home in this nice neighborhood in a suburb north of Fort Worth in the town of Argyle. Neighbors often see him jogging, but not today. When we came to get his side of the story, he was nowhere to be found. No one answered the door at the home of 46-year-old James Fritzen Taylor, identified by his co-workers as the voice in the cockpit now heard around the globe. A memo's out now with airline executives saying their entire discipline process is being changed for issues of diversity. Airline employees were told to listen to a recorded message from CEO Gary Kelly saying senior executives were unaware the pilot had only gotten a suspension until the story broke with Local 2 Investigates. We traveled to a Fort Worth suburb where the pilot lives. He wasn't home and all the airline would tell us is this pilot has never been in trouble before. Captain Taylor's co-worker circulated his photo with a message calling him the loudmouth pilot. The airline's memo said it is aware the suspension is viewed as too light by many Southwest employees, but that punishment cannot be undone. One Southwest Airlines employee who emailed us the photograph and the information about this pilot who lives here says many employees are just having a tough time getting past all of these comments despite all of the new apologies and the new messages from the company's headquarters here in North Texas. Reporting from Argyle, north of Fort Worth, Stephen Dean, KPRC Local 2. This is a story Local 2 Investigates is going to stay on top of for you. In the meantime, we have the audio from that cockpit rant on our website. To listen, just go to our homepage at click2houston.com. And we have this just into our newsroom.